Hey, Rob Cree here at the first ever PAX Unplugged. We're here with Bezier Games and with Phoebe, and you've got some really cool new games to show us. Yeah, I do. So we've got a couple of games that are coming out, one that just came out, and one that we have the very first production copy of uh, in our hands right now. So I'll talk about that. All right. We just got our very first copy of Where Beasts, uh, straight from the factory. So this we kickstarted this a couple of months ago, and it will be coming out in February. So it's a kind of playoff on our classic werewolf games, uh, but instead of just the deduction, you've got a bit of bidding. So you're bidding to collect different webbies and uh, trying to figure out what other people are collecting and calling them out on it as well. So you've got some bluffing, some deduction, but some auctioning as well. And you got some really, I know, unique werebees. Like, uh, like yeah, were clown and like were tornado, I believe. Yeah, I think my favorite is the werebago and the were nana. I've got to be my, my two favorite werebees that are in here. Uh, we also have a Kickstarter deluxe version, which comes with the full wooden uh, were chow cans, now a 90% more villager, of course. So <laughs> of course. Um, that's what we've got coming out in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. uh, we just had were words release as well. So this is kind of a mashup between our One Night Ultimate Werewolf and 20 questions. So instead of trying to figure out who to eliminate, you're trying to figure out a magic word uh, by asking the typical yes, no. You know, is it a uh, is it an animal? Is it something we can eat? Is it bigger than a bread box? All those typical 20 questions. But of course you have a werewolf trying to throw you off the scent and a seer who can help you out a little bit as well. Yes, uh, we actually had a chance to get this at Gen Con and we actually had some very fun times including <laughs> arguing whether a fist counts as an animal. <laughs> Uh, well, I think my favorite moment was uh, when we had biscuits as the word and someone asked, does it come in a can? And you answered yes, because you can get those biscuits that come in a can right, and you're ready yeah, cooked. Right. And of course we're asking, is it soup? Is it, you know, is it okay, canned yeah. fruit? And so the werewolf did a really good job with that one there, yeah. Yeah, definitely. And of course, we got the final one. The final one is Palace of Mad King Ludwig. So this is coming out December or January, d depending on how quick the ship is. Uh, but this is a standalone sequel to the castles of Mad King Ludwig. Uh, so in this one, everyone is building a giant palace for the king. It's not a cooperative game, though. You're still trying to score the most points. So you're trying to uh, either specialize in building a lot of one type of room or diversify and uh, meet, of course, meet, of course, the king's favors to, uh, you know, maybe he wants you have the most blue swans or the fewest downstairs rooms or whatever he wants you to do that's what you have to meet to get points right so unlike the original castles in the suburbia which is sort of similar instead of building your own little area and get maximized you also got to think of how can you not set up your opponent for good Absolutely. points as well yeah and we also have this unique thing where we have a moat being built around the palace as well and when the two ends of the moat meet that's when the game ends so you kind of have a timer but the moat can be used to block other people off um, make sure they can't finish their rooms and you can be a little bit meaner in palace than you can in castles because you're all interacting on the same board so. oh yeah uh, you had a, a sort of prototype uh, back at Gen yeah. Con and we learned that the hard way we had some very mean moat pla placements yeah so uh, that's what we've got coming up we also have you know New York Slice here which have been really popular and Whistle Stop uh, which is our latest train game which is you know sold out at Gen Con and Essen and we're almost sold out here at PAX mm -hmm. as well so that's been going really well yeah so already some already hot games already out and yeah. some great ones are on the way yeah so definitely something to look for whether you like the lighter games or your heavier games I want to hurt people okay. uh, until then this has been Rofer Crit at PAX Unplugged hey there if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe because we've got much more where that came from and you can check us out on the web at rollforcrit.com for more board game news from PAX Unplugged and elsewhere